Vision Works camera is far superior to the other other brands that we've used. Uh, the resolution is excellent. Uh, very high quality product. Hands down, we couldn't do it without the camera. Couldn't do it. When you open up the box, the first thing you're going to find is a manual and a variety of other parts that together make up the best safety camera in the industry. If you misplace your manual, please visit our website at visionworkscameras.com and go to the manual section to download and print a new manual. To begin, you will need to grab the camera in 65 pound magnet. By the way, the magnet does not weigh 65 pounds, that's just how you measure the strength of the magnet's hold. You will need to provide a 7 16 inch socket wrench and a 7 16 inch standard wrench to complete the next step of the assembly. Take off the protective covering on your magnet for this portion of the assembly. This covering is for applications where you want to be able to slide your magnet and camera without scratching off any paint. Next, unscrew the bolt and washer attached to your magnet and attach the magnet to the bottom of your camera. Notice that on the bottom of your camera, you can choose to hard mount our cameras for particular applications. However, you can easily attach your magnet with the wrench as shown. Simply reattach the washer and screw provided and tighten down with the 7 16th socket wrench and a standard 7 16th inch wrench. At this point, you can attach your magnet covering back on depending on your application. Next, I want to talk about adjusting the angle of the camera. If you want to adjust the angle of the camera, you will need to adjust the screws on the side of the camera. To do this, use the Allen wrench provided to loosen up the screws as shown. Once the screws are loose, you can adjust the angle before tightening back down at the preferred angle. Remember, you can always adjust the camera angle once you have your camera set up in its application. At this point, we don't really need this bag, so you can just recycle it if you'd like. Next, we will attach the antenna. Your system will come with three antennas. Two of those will be the same size and will be used later for your monitor. For now, we will use the smallest antenna. Simply tighten down the antenna to the back of the camera until it's hand tight. Next, we will talk about the ways to mount your monitor. To start, I will show you how to permanently mount your monitor by first attaching it to the base provided. This is probably our most popular way to mount our monitors for long-term application. Using the screws provided, attach one screw on each side of the monitor in the bottom hole on the sides of your monitor as shown. After tightening down those screws, you will notice that you now have the ability to adjust the angle of your monitor. Once you find your preferred angle, you can attach the remaining screws to set your monitor angle. Again, you can always readjust the angle of your monitor once you have set up your camera in its application. Next, you will attach your remaining antennas by simply tightening them down to the top of your monitor as shown. At this point, you can permanently attach your monitor as you please using the slotted holes at the bottom of your monitor. However, you may also use the dash mount provided, so let's detach our permanent mount and attach our dash mount. Your dash mount comes with a stick-on base that can easily be attached to the bottom of your mount by peeling off the protective layer. 
you can adjust the angle of your monitor from your dash mount by loosening the tab as shown. Once you have your preferred angle, hand tighten your adjusting tab. Next, we will be attaching the monitor to the monitor mount by latching on the monitor at the preferred height and angle. Please note that at any time you can attach and secure the monitor at your preferred height and angle with the knob on the mounting tab. Be sure that your tab is secured before moving on to the next step. Next, we will power our monitor with the main harness. Please ignore the exposed wires unless you are wanting to hardwire your monitor. Hardwiring your monitor is not necessary with the cigarette lighter provided or wall mounts options available. But if you want to hardwire your monitor, the black is your ground and your red is connected to your power supply. The extra exposed wires are your trigger wires and are usually not necessary, but more information can be found in the manuals. Connect your 8-pin connector on your main harness to the cable coming off your monitor. Be sure that your arrows are lined up so you do not bend your pins. If you bend your pins, you will void your warranty. If you plan to power your monitor with the cigarette lighter adapter provided, you will attach your main harness to the cigarette lighter adapter as shown and plug in your cigarette lighter adapter. For this video, I will be receiving power from our wall port accessory that is available for purchase. At this point, your monitor should have power and your screen should read no signal. Now, as you can see, you are not receiving a signal to your monitor because your camera is currently not being powered. So that's the next thing we're going to do in this video. Go ahead and grab your power lead cable provided to power your camera. At this point, Connect your power lead to your nearest power supply. Connect the black wire to ground and your red wire to a 12 to 24 volt power supply. Please place the protective tape over this connection to ensure no water damage. Then simply plug in the power lead to your wireless camera. Since I am currently not next to a power supply, I will be using our wall port accessory to power this camera. Notice, you still do not have a connection. Well, our final step will be the pairing of your camera and monitor. First, click on the S button on your monitor to switch to a different camera view. You will know which camera you are viewing by looking at the top of your screen. You can then scroll to camera number four, all four views at the same time, or the scan option, which will be written at the top of the screen. The scan function will cycle through the cameras and you will not be able to pair your camera on this feature. For pairing, please select the camera one view. Next, Access the menu by clicking the M button. When viewing the menu, if you do not press a button within 10 seconds, the menu will disappear as shown. This is important to keep in mind when using the menu function. However, simply select the menu again, click on the left arrow to hover over the pairing option, and then select pairing by pressing the zero button. After selecting pairing, you will have a 50 second countdown shown on the screen to pair your camera. On the back of the camera there is a hole labeled pair. Use a paper clip to press the button inside the hole. You should feel a click and then your monitor will sync up with your camera. 
If your monitor does not sync up, check the power on your camera by cupping your hands over the lens to see if the red LED lights are on, then repeat this process. At this point, you should be ready to go. Thanks for watching our video. Check out our channel or website for more information and upcoming tutorials on our cameras.